Hello everyone, in this video we are going to build ASP.NET MVC Shopping Cart. In ASP.NET MVC tutorial series, we follow a step-by-step -step approach to develop an online shopping cart using ASP.NET MVC C Sharp Entity Framework and SQL Server with database first approach. I would like to ask you a favor. If you found this video helpful, please like and if you are new here, please subscribe my channel. Let's start with a SQL Server. Now we are going to create a database. Let's create a new database. I'm going to write like a eCart DB. Click on OK. In the eCart DB, now going to first I'm going to create the schema. So open the database, click on security, then here you will find that one schema folder. So right click on the schema folder and that is a one master schema because I'm first I'm going to add the master data, then click on OK. So now you can, if you will see here, then master schema has been created. Now I'm going to create the table, the right click on the table, new table. First I'm going to create the category table, that is a category ID. Let me make as an integer and make it right click as a primary key and going to give the name so it will be that is the categories and schema will be the master and identity column will be the category ID. Now that second one will be the category code. Code I am going to write like a wire care, it will be 150. And next it will be the category name okay that will be the worker this one also I'm going to write like a 150 and save it now you can see that there is one table has been created that is a master dot category if you look object explorer and write I refresh the table you will see that one master dot categories table has been created with that three column this one category ID is a primary key category code and category name next I'm going to create that one one table that is a items table so here that is a item ID this one is going to be where boundary this one I'm going to make a unique entry because I'm going to use that guide make it because it's always it will be the primary key now second one is that category ID then next one will be the item code that will be the worker 50 then item name that will be the worker make it a 250 then after the description that one I'm going to ask that is a description maybe 250 and then image path that also to add like a 550 okay this column then now the item price that will be the decimal at 18 comma 2 now right click properties I'm going to create this one will be the tables name will be the items schema name I'm going to add that for master then identity column is not required now save that for now for time being I'm using that one that two tables after that for once we are going to save that data so later we'll add more table now refresh that here you can see that one there is a two table master dot items master dot categories if for master dot categories i'm going to add some dummy data first one is that mobile I'll just check that one maybe that oh this one is a wire care not wire boundary save it Again, you will get just refresh that. Okay, that mobile. Okay, laptop. 
Now I have added some dummy data that is a mobile, laptop, desktop, jeans, t-shirt and shoes. Okay. Now open the Visual Studio. Just right click and, and create the new project. Select the web sp.mpc application then give the name web app e-cart demo click on ok then select the empty mvc and click on ok now you can see that a blank project has been created now first i'm going to install some third party tool that is a managed NuGet package open the browser and on options you install this one click on I accept now this one is installed now let's close this one close this one also now I'm going to add the identity framework that add new item select the data at entity model then e cart db that model click on add check that what your server name click on next Like the database that is a e card db click on ok yes next next select the table or table and click on finish now you can see that your edmx file has been created now close it this one now after that i am going to add the view model click on view model that is a view model folder then right click and add new item that will one is that class select the class I'm going to give the name that is the first one for category category view model here I'm going to write the properties first one is that category id the second one is that code then third one is that name that your name ok that is a category now I'm going to create one more that is for item view model select a class that is a item view model just mention that your first one is, is first one is that guide that is the item id the second one is that category id that is will be the integer then item code item name then description description and let's see which our field is there then description then item price and image path then let's make that it will the decimal okay, item price this one will be the http posted file with your image path okay that's done now i'm going to create controller so first I'm going to design something just uh, for like a home controller one will be the home controller 
first one is the home controller here i am going to add some some for normal just like a common thing this one for contact this one for about and this one i'm going to add that is a service now i'm going to add the view the right click add view that is the first i have added for index same like for other also i'm going to add now here you can see that i have added that all those about contact index and services service that particular view now i'm going to create one more controller that is for item so i'm going to write like an item that is a item controller now one more controller that will be for, for shopping so i'm going to write like a shopping okay for items now i'm going to first i'm going to start with item controller just close all document open the item controller add that one index view right click on index add view that is a add view we have created one add view okay so open that uh, your layout.cshtml here need to add some like a li and just change the name that one this one should be your e cart okay now we will change that one to e cart this one also your my sp.net e cart and this one also my sp.net e cart okay. now copy this one that html link this much big is not required that all those properties only delete that rest of this thing till here okay now copy for this for your home okay index and this for your contact now here you can see that i have added that one that for uh, home contact about service item and shopping that all okay now i am going to create one partial view that it will be displayed like uh, there it will be cut okay before that we are going to, first we are going to create for items that's first uh, that i'm going to create for it will display that your item where you can add that uh, just like an admin can add that items in the price so first uh, i am going to create for items i will design that one that particular form so there you can select that image and upload that particular image and add that your new items and price so this one is that you i am going to create one constructor and we'll check that one e cart db entities your e cart db entities create the object of e cart db entities e cart db entities okay create that object and one more thing we can in that item folder just like here actually for in the drop down it should display that your category so what will open that uh, view model open that uh, item view model here i'm going to create one more that i enumerable that it will be that select item list or select list item okay i'm going to write that name select list or item mm -hmm. first of all need to add create that uh, object of this item view model so item view model alt enter object item view model create the object here now in the object there is select list item are going to change the names of the select 
a category select list item so we can know that one okay this for category so category list of item equal to from obj category in your that entities dot categories then select new select list item okay. here need to add your text text will be this object text dot category name and next one will be the value value will be the category id dot to string and let's check another one selected make it true okay this data now this data, this object should return here okay Now go to the view, just right click and go to view, that view is open here, it will become like a direct model, I enumerable and that is an item view model, item view model, just press alt and enter, item view model, okay, now it's done, now here I'm going to create like make a div that will be the first it will be the make a container this one I'm going to divide into your three parts so what we can do make a div class that bootstrap I'm going to use that div class that is a call medium then four make it four okay first one is that your name that is a first one is that your category your category or before that you can use bootstrap that is a div that will be a class it will be that form group that will be a form group after that you can write like a category okay and html dot drop down list for so here first one is that model model dot category ID oh this one is not will be enabled because it will become the simple object that here model and category ID then new select list item the here to pass at list select list then here it will come your model I'll make a model dot your category list item then next one will be the value value and then your text okay now here going to add that class that is a new class this one will be the your form control one part has been done now again I'm going to copy this and paste for this one will be in. then first then next will be the text box 4 here I'm going to add item code 
the next will be the your new it, class the form control as same for other also just for like item name this for item name so right here item name and this one also need to be same item name and this one is that your item code and another one for description this one for description description okay then what else description and item price and image path so this one for item price okay and next for image path that is for textbook for class you can change the class here you can write like a image path okay and here type is equal to make a file this one also it will work okay done till now it's okay open the layout page so there we can add that on bootstrap open the layout and folder open the folder of script first i am going to drag that is your jquery mean.js then then open that one your unobtrusive mean.js and before that open that this builded your this one assign that one then save it close this form now this one now we will run that application let's check how it will look like now run the application now here you can it look like this see I, this one i have added for dummy data that is displaying here that uh, laptop mobile jeans t-shirt and this one is that item code this one is the item code item name and description and then your price and here you can choose the file once you will click here then you can select that files okay image file now close this one now i'm going to add that button so add that button okay that is a div here input type that will be the button and then value is equal to save a name that also it will be save and class make it a button button dash primary mm -hmm. the next one also for reset And more button that for this for reset and make a reset and this one change to danger now this data I have going to save write the script tag tap equal to your JavaScript then document dot ready create the function uh, give that id this one your id is equal to button save button save dot click click function hmm. 
click function is ready now I'm going to create one function there we can write that for save save item let's save item okay so this side item I'm going to call here the lights okay now I'm to call that form data where that form data that is equal to new form data right so open that controller item controller create one more action method that for posting okay this one for posting and it will return that json result your json return and for time being i am writing like a json some dummy data otherwise it will give the error some dummy data just allow it okay now same object if you want you can use that same object but uh, this one will be not a good idea because here there is a so much thing like which is not required for further if open that to item view model you can see here okay except this one everything is required now just close open this one only item view model open that item view model that is the object item view model just what category ID now going to start in the index in the form data dot append so what's the name properties name that is a category ID so get that value that category ID dot value okay this one is done now another one is that after that category ID there is a item code so right here item code this one it will be also item code because by default uh, once you are using that uh, HTML helper class so that what's the name of that your properties same will be your ID name that's why I am using that one the ID selector because this one this name is the same name with ID also otherwise you can write here make a comma and you can write your own id this this way if you will like if you can assign that id if you want to give your custom id so you can write like that oh sorry only id or this one this way you can write like id but i don't require because already it's created that id i don't want to custom id this one for item code now next one for item name so right here item name here also it will become the item name and next item name description item price item name this for description description then your item price right the one more thing it will be add like your image path that is your image your path so it will be not value here it will become like image path what's the name that is the image path okay image path dot get zero dot your items okay zero because i am using only one item but for that um, uh, shopping cart you can add that multiple items for that multiple items you need to change something in your database because here i have created your for single items that's why i have added here for multiple items you have to create one more table with that is like a image path id there the reference will come that your item id and then 
image path but for now I am using only one image for one item okay. now it's okay now let's use that your ajax dollar dot ajax okay this one now write down first one is that your async make it as a true data type json type post content type make as a false processor type this one also make it false your url you, what is will be the url your first one is the controller name that is your controller name is item and your action method is index now next one is your data data is at your form data mm -hmm. the next one will be the your message that is a success message that i'm going to create the function data here that alert your data the next one will be the error your function to data this right alert There is some problem to add item. I am going to create one function that is for reset. Reset item. Okay. Okay, this one for a set. Same need to copy. Okay, once it will be saved, so that text box should be clear. You will get that message, and text will be clear. One more thing we can do because there is some dummy data is filling. So I'm going to write like a this one for text box. Make it auto complete of That's done. Now going to create one folder inside that project that for images. I click on folder, new folder, and images. So here that we will save that image. Open the item controller. This one is your HTTP post. Write the HTTP post. Yeah, that is till now it's okay. Let's check that index because something need to be changed here. Uh, this one is that item price. Change this one item price. Description, description, then change to description. Item name, it's item name. It's okay. Criteria name is okay. here. That need to change and something here. Maybe this one is that your process data. 
that will be the, the false and here it will come your files not items instead of item it will come as a files all right and this one will be process data make it as a false then rest of the things okay item name description item price and image path Now make a breakpoint here and run the application. Let's see what all data is coming here. Now open that items. Here I'm going to add something like a mobile or jeans. Item code is jeans. Item name also I'm going to write agents description the price is 2500 and choose the file that is your jeans I click on save let's see all the data is coming the category ID is coming correct description item code item name and item plus okay now everything is okay now I'm going to save this image to that CR folder first first now I will create uh, like a new image just like uh, if I am selecting that uh, image name is one what will happen if I will try to insert again the same image that it will be that override so better what we will do we will change that image name so how will change so first of that I am going to write like new image that it will be the guide dot new guide okay then plus that is your extension I'm going to write like a path alt in, alt enter this add the system dot input output okay path dot get extension that is your object dot image path dot your file name so here you will get the extension plus that first is your this one is your image name and then this another one is your extension got it now going to save that image uh, how will you save that one so open this dot image path dot save as so we are going to save that particular I'm going to use the server dot map path the server dot math path so what will be that negation that images folder you have already created then plus your new image so it will save in your images folder here it will be saved okay now then what's the name of that that is a items so here I'm going to create that object of a items so how will it will be item so object change that item equal to new item so that write down that first it will be your your image path okay so what's the image path that combination of it will be that negation that images as your that fully path actually this one is your relative part because I am not writing that full like a C drive that all so it's a relative part so I am adding that actually relative path so that one is that your folder and your this one is your image name because that I am going to change to the new image name so first is the, the next one what actually is asking category ID so how you will get the category ID you will get the category ID from here next one dot category ID okay the next one is a dot your next description the same like your object dot description what next after description it will be the item code the same like item code you will get from here that it will be the item code next to visit that item dot your item ID this one is that your guide 
that is your item id is equal to guide dot new guide be unique only the next one is after item id it will be the item name then item price so item name it will be the object dot item name okay the next is your price the next one is your price that is the item price okay so this one is your item price so open this your db entities try to items dot add so what you are going to add that object dot item then after that save changes okay it is done so here just going to write new that is your success equal to true and your message equal to item added successfully that is still not done see here that is done now run the application first we'll go to the index because here I have added that two properties that first one is a success and message so we'll go to the here for the data so here we'll check that if data dot success then alert your what will be your alert data dot message your message receive it check one more time the things okay it will be saved here let's save as it will be here that item new image let's run the application let's find out if we'll get any error open the SQL also let's check that if record is empty and see that record is empty now run the application click on items select that instead of mobile it will be jeans and item code jeans item name is blue jeans so going to write like a blue jeans 32 inch something like and price is here 3500 and choose the file that is a file now try to save let's see item is added successfully click on ok your data is your clean ok here we need to add something just check in the database yeah data is successfully added with the path with that new id okay let's check in that folder this is top debugging let's check in the folder refresh it and so all file here you can see that image okay this one is your image but right? that image is has been added now one more thing once it's going to reset let's set into that category id here it should be one make it one now run the application again let's add some more data just mobile then is a samsung mobile then samsung mobile samsung mobile 16 inch 
and price is 29,000 and choose the image this one click on save that I acted successfully okay, it's resetting okay add some data I'm going to add some more data for resetting up to here this one's yeah, by mistake sorry I have added here it should be add here okay that reset it should be not here just refresh again because I, I have already added some dummy data some data already added just like four records already added now here if we will look that mobile I'm going to add that t-shirt so right here t-shirt code is t-shirt t-shirt blue t-shirt blue medium size price is 2000 choose the file that is your blue piece going to click on save item added successfully so now it's selected because by mistakes I have added into form data okay so I'm going to add some more data okay now you can see here if I'm going to execute I have added for eight records that is something is that jeans is there desktop and iPhone Samsung t-shirt all those things I have added here now this one I'm going to display into for for cards so there that a user can add into the card okay so just close this one open the visual studio just stop debugging now close all this one is accept this now for that cart I'm going to add one more view model that for shopping cart class create that shopping cart like a shopping view model click on add here I'm going to write some properties like the first one is that guide that is your item ID okay next one is your item name string that is your item name then item price string that for image path and one more I'm going to add that for description okay description open that your for shopping open the controller that is your controller going to shopping controller here I'm going to add the view one view that is a head view okay that is one view that is a shopping controller and view model that item controller is not required just close it that is done so I'm going to create There is something problem in a resharper. So e card db entities your e card db entities create that object of that e card db entities. Now very well now creating the object. It is done. Now here it will return a enumerable of your view model that is a shopping view model this one here write that one list of shopping view model equal to from
from obj item in otherwise i will add one more thing that is a category that also if it's required then we can display that category also so we can use that joining so here that obj item in that is your obj entities dot here it will be the items then here it will be the join okay join next will be the from press enter it will be the object categories in your object category dot categories then on object item dot your category id equals equals your object category dot your category id then select new your shopping view model let's head this one will be the to list now here i'm going to add mostly it will be the object item or accept that your category name image path also it will come here only item name also it will be here only description description item price item price item id item id that category category will be coming with another object that is your update dot category name right that is okay now this one going to return to the view and same one need to copy into that view here right here that model okay so here right div dot class container the next one will be the make as to class text center going to light here product list Okay. So for each loop, that where item in your model, your model. Okay. So now going to write a div that is your class. This one make as a call medium. First, we'll check that one. Uh, uh, which one is look good? First, I'm going to write a medium three. This one is a three. Then a style. Make a margin. Bottom. Margin bottom. Thirty pixel. Again, then thin div. Now write that div. Now here going to add 
that your EMG G class will be that image responsive EMG responsive that your SRC this one will be the URL content URL content that item dot your image path height two hundred pixel width that also two hundred pixel one top I'm going to add that item name so here that it will be that your item dot item name and this div I'm going to add style text align make a center and this one it will be make it as 4 tab. and this here and to add that border that will be the 1 pixel border border bottom border bit bottom 1 pixel solid maroon Let's see, let's run the application. Let's check how it's coming. Because of that size, image responsive. Just open the Visual Studio. still it's the same but I want like this way ok I'm going to change first one is your column that in the column we are adding that particular item name so let's check that item name item name is coming correct with that border so maybe the size is little bit large 200 200 pixel if I'm going to change to 150 let's refresh oh, something is sticking the size little more It's moving to the next line. I have designed that one first I'm going to add some one more thing I missed that is the item code 
and go to the controller here I also need to add that item code that it will be object code dot dot item code okay this one is that item code so here in that index here you need to write item code so what I have done first it is displaying that one your item name after that is that your image that image path is here 150 pixel 150 pixel then item description and the right hand side i am displaying that that one that item description and then item code and then i have added one button that for add to cart okay run the application Now I can see. So it will look like this one your name. Think we missed something that is a price. Somewhere we should display that price also. Okay, instead of that item code, I am going to display the price in the t shirt because it's already repeating. So here I will display the price. So what I will do go will open that instead of item code will display the item price. Okay. Then refresh it. Now it's displaying that price. So I'm going to make a format that is make a two string format is like a hash comma hash is 2.00 and then i n r now refresh it let's make a I make it capital let's say this one will look good okay so now it's in, you can see it's in a format it's in format okay this one is displaying that uh, your item name okay this one is displaying the item name that is uh, your description this one is your description that is your price and here there is one button that is for add to cart. In the next video we will learn how to add to cart. Once you will click that to add to cart. So here in this place I am going to add one partial view that it will display that cart. It will display the cart. So once you are going to click on add to cart so it will be add to here. So once you are going to click on that cart so you can see that all those items. will move little bit up so this one for shopping once you click on shopping then you will get this one then here that items in the items here you can add that items mm -hmm. I hope it's a clear thanks for watching in the next video we will learn to how to add into the cart and display into the cart and make a total and now we'll going to save that data into database thank you